Hi, I'm Flavio Gonzaga and I'm from Search on Math. During my presentation, I'll be showing how to integrate a search engine for mathematical content using a Oracle file inside Mathematica. Good afternoon. I'm here to perform the presentation enabling mathematical search inside Wolfram Mathematica. Thank you for being present here. As you can see, I'm from Brazil, so I'm still improving my conversation. If something that I said is not clear, please feel free to tell me, and I'll try to find a different way to express myself. Okay. Talking about Search on Math, Search on Math is a search engine which was designed to search for mathematical content, including mathematical formulas. So using Search on Math, you can build your own queries and mix textual content and math formulas. And this project, the Search on Math project, me, started in 2008 when I was thinking about a theme to my PhD at Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. Later in 2013, I finished the doctorate and the first version of Search on Math was released. And later in 2015, Search on Math became a company. And in 2021, Search on Math became part of the Head Start program from Amazon. And it was also when we, when we released our first version indexing the archive base. So this is a, our brief story. Uh, talking a little about the search on math functionalities. When you visit search on math, you can choose between using the web index or using the scientific index. In fact, if you visit search on math now, you see that our scientific index is temporarily disabled. Why? Because we released the archive version in 2021, like I said, and this version was only in beta version. So, and for this version, we really downloaded the entire archive from the AWS repository and treated all of the latex files and things like that. But now we are preparing a next version of the archive where we are indexing the archive for HTML5. So we are still working on it. And I believe that our scientific version will be ready in a couple of weeks. But all of this is, but, but everything that is presented in this presentation is, is to valid the end, considering also the URL to search on math for the archive. So basically, as you can see in the figure, you can include your, in your queries text and or math formulas in latex format. And the only thing that you must take care of is that your formulas must be enclosed by these delimiters. So call search for math will treat this in a different way. This is different to search for math formulas in comparison to test for text or content. So we need to know exactly what part of your query is composed by what part of content. And by doing this, what will happen is that search for math will return the results page. And the results page are first ordered by formula similarity. And after that, if we have two different results with the same similarity, then search on math will use the text of content to define what came, what must be showed first. And what is the concept of similarity? Well, similarity inside search on math decreases as long as search on math identifies the need of replace symbols. For example, if you search for like this sin x, search on math will return first sin x, but it will also return sin y or sin of any other variable or sin of any other maybe constant. So this is the main difference between uh, what search on math can do and what Google can do. So when we are looking for a math formula, we are looking for the structure of its formula and we are not, uh, thinking about exactly the literal sense of each symbol. So you are free to use your own symbols and search on math will be able to find uh, good results. And so you can see our results page. And here in the left, 
is the formula which is most similar to the one that you have searched. And in the right is a, a brief abstract of this result. The scientific version, which is composed mainly by the archive papers, users can filter by year, by author or area, and the area are the same areas that are already defined inside the archive. So here we have an example where we apply the filter considering year and also for only one author. And here, as you can see, uh, you can see the results for the search. What we are presenting here is, what I am presenting here is a way to integrate search on math, search into the Mathematica using a notebook file. The idea is that the users can search for math content without leaving the, the Wolfram Mathematica. So uh, search on math have uh, an API, which is available at this address, searchonmath.com web service API. And through our API, any, any app basically is submit queries and get results in JSON format. So it's pretty easy to integrate search on math to any other application. And we'll show how to do this in our first version for Wolfram Mathematica. The basic parameters are query, as you can see, which is the query that you are submitting, the page that you want to get back from search on math, the first page of results, the second and so on. Domains you can define in which domains you are searching or not. It's up to you. If you don't specify the domain, search on math will submit its query to, to its entire index. And user and key are, are also mandatory fields that you must inform so you can submit your queries. And user and key, you will get them as soon as you as soon as you subscribe to the search for math. So, Basically, what you need to inform is the query, the user, and the key. All other uh, fields are optional fields. And also, if you are submitting to search to archive, you must use value X on the domain. Well, the complete documentation page is available at searchonmath.com slash doc. And there are also even more parents inside of our documentation. So, Basically, what we are doing is that uh, we created a, a some message here using Mathematica. As you can see, we are connecting to search on math and we are submitting a query here, the Taylor series, and this is the query. I'm informing you what page I would like to retrieve. And here are my data, my user, and my, my private key. And the same goes to the scientific index. Well, if we take this and, and try it on search on that, I will open, let me go back here. You can see that you will see that the results will be the same, obviously. So inside Mathematica, what we are doing is that Well, we are here, uh, like I said, connecting to search on math, and we are only formatting the results here, including the title, URL, and the common elements of a search result. And here we are informing the query. And when we execute this, yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, so the backslash are only for escape the slash, the backslash from LaTeX because the formula must be formatted in LaTeX format. So I'm just escaping. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, let me show this using search on F2. Taylor series. This is the query and
Let me only remove the escapes. And here we go. Okay, so basically this is what we are searching using Mathematica. And this is the same query here in CircleMath. I'll log into my user to get the same behavior. Okay. So uh, this is the query that we submitted using Wolfram Mathematica and these are the same results in CircleMath. And so the idea is that as you can see here, you can see the results. And when we go back to Mathematica, you can also see the same results here without the need of leaving the, the Mathematica notebook. And obviously this is like a, a normal search engine. So you can click in the result that you'd like to see more about it. And as you can see, you can see the result here in the browser. And also if the result is inside of a bigger thread like here, search on that, we also go right to the, to the correct answer where the formula and uh, where the formula was found. Talking about the domains in our web version, search on that is able to search in all of these domains from web, MathWord, Nisad, the LMF, and lab physics forums. Well, all of um, Stack Exchange, <coughs> Stack Exchange Physics, okay, and the Wikipedia in, in English person. Okay. Uh, there is some interesting results in mathematics. As you can see here, we have an error. I left this just to show here. Uh, the first result, the uh, mathematica was not able to render here, and it's because it's from the Socratic, and Socratic uses uh, ASCII math as a mathematical language, not LaTeX. So since we don't have a way to convert from ASCII math to Wolfram language, at least as far as I know, we have a problem here on handling this. The other results, since they are being received in LaTeX, so I was able to convert from LaTeX to Wolfram language. And so you can see here the formula properly rendered. What we are working now is that when trying this and submitting multiple queries and using it inside Mathematica, I realized that uh, it, it's, it's pretty common yet to, to have some problem when converting from LaTeX to Wolfram language, especially when we are working with scientific papers and when we are using uh, two specific uh, libraries from LaTeX, packets from LaTeX. So what we are working is that search math will start to return to its API the results also available in, as image in SVG file. So you'll be able to see the results as image in any environment. So you will not need to convert anymore to both language or to, to think it's the original formula is written in, for example, LaTeX, ASCII math, MathML, or, or any other mathematical language. Okay, so can go through the results. And uh, search on math, we, we started to, like I said, we started as a company in 2015, but only a couple of months, two months ago, we started to provide to users of search on math a subscribing plan because obviously we need to expand the company and we would like to index more and more com content. And since we started this, uh, we are very happy because search on math has been used and subscribed and the students and researchers from different universities are subscribing to, to our services. And here we have a, a brief list of the universities that we, that students and researchers are subscribing to our plan and using the search engine. 
Well, the mathematical searches is still uh, an area which we are still uh, researching a lot and finding uh, new ways to search for mathematical content. Like I said, what we, what we know is that the algorithm that we have been using to search for textual content, they just don't perform well when searching for mathematical, mathematical content. So uh, I'd like to invite you first to try search on F, obviously, and feel free to share your thoughts and to contact us through social networks or even write and direct to me on LinkedIn or, or mail, okay? Okay, then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm able to answer questions or any possible observations that would like to do. Yes. Um, this is very interesting because when you look to all of those domains, it's it, 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 you, uh, they are so different when considering, for example, the size and number of pages, but also the number of formulas. And this is also a, 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 a big challenge to us because you see, when, when you are indexing a new domain, considering the mathematical content, there is no, uh, pattern or no default, each site will be using its own, uh, not its own, but different languages and, and things like that. But the first domain we decided to index in the past when we started search on math was Wikipedia, Wolfram MathWord, BLMF, and later uh, Planet Math. But for now, if you have some website that you enjoy and that is not listed at search on math, you, you can ask us and it will be a pleasure to index and to, to introduce it in our index. Uh, there are only one basic rule is that the formula must be available in some mathematical language, MathML or LaTeX or math. We don't have the OCR serves OCR serves to convert from image, for example. And since we now, when we finish the index of the archive, we are thinking to move to maybe to to journals or something in this in the scientific area. Yeah. Okay then. Thank you.